Hello everybody, NerdDad5000 back with another reaction video. If this is your first time at the channel, take a second to click that subscribe button. It's easy. All you have to do is... Smash. And you're subscribed. Also take a second to click that bell icon so you continue to get notifications of every time I release a new video. If this is not your first time at the channel, welcome back, as always. So many things out of San Diego Comic-Con this past weekend, and I am really, really really behind and I'm trying to get caught up now because I'm actually going to a convention in a couple of days but I will post pictures and videos from that after uh, it's Galaxy Con Raleigh if you're interested um, gonna get to meet uh, Giancarlo Esposito and uh, Dax from Deep Space Nine Terry Farrell there's her name uh, lots of other big stars so you can look that up Galaxy Con Raleigh just google that and you'll you'll see the people I'm gonna see uh, but today, we are here for the new San Diego Comic-Con sneak peek of Black Adam. Now, I'm really getting excited for this movie. As I've said during other videos, I actually grew up a DC fan. I was Batman Comics and Superman Comics and the Super Friends cartoon. And I love The Flash. Though got those comics. I used to run around and play like I was Green Lantern. And I'd take some black electrical tape and put a piece around my finger and act like it was my power ring. Um, so yeah, really fond of DC growing up. The DC animated stuff has been really good. I think they just tried too hard to catch up with Marvel with their live action movies. Love Man of Steel. Uh, Henry Cavill is a great Superman. And I really liked Ben Affleck as Batman. I was initially on the, oh man, Ben Affleck's going to be Batman train when it was announced. But after seeing him be Batman a few times, really like it. Uh, Gal Gadot was a great Wonder Woman. And The Rock I feel is going to be an amazing Black Adam. He's really putting like his heart and soul into this part in this movie. So I hope maybe this will be the one that kind of turns things around for DC because I don't want to see them do bad. And there's plenty of room for superhero movies. DC can do theirs. Marvel can do theirs. And, you know, everybody can like them both. There's no need for this giant DC versus Marvel fight. So anyway, it's a little over a minute. New Comic-Con teaser for Black Adam. Here we go. There he is, like the cape. My powers are not a gift, <laughs> but a curse. Oh, okay. Born out of rage. Nice. <laughs> Black Adam. Hello, Doctor Fate. You believe you are not worthy. You can be the destroyer of this world, or you can be its savior. <laughs> the world needed a hero. Instead, it got me. <laughs> oh, hot man. Oh! Oh, he just... Ah. Yeah, he just put it to Hawkman. October 21st. That's not really too far. Time's flying now. Yeah. All right. Good trailer. Yeah, Rock was meant to play this part. And I think maybe Pierce Brosnan, through all the things he's done in his career, he was meant to play Dr. Fate. He looks so good in this part. And uh, his voice is so good for this part. When he's given Black Adam, you know, advice, uh, he just sounds really good. He looks really good. I've seen, like, how he looks in the comics compared to how Pierce Brosnan looks. And they've really done a good comic-accurate job of uh, creating him. Hawkman looks really good in this also. The other two characters, I'm not very familiar with them. Adam Smasher and the other one. I'm going to learn. Before the next video, I'm going to learn who she is. Uh, I think she's got, like, wind powers, maybe. Yeah, this looks really good. Uh, let's look back at a couple of things. I don't want to drag it out too long. Let's look back at this. I really like him with the cape. I know it's all torn and messed up, and Black Adam doesn't normally have a cape, and I think the cape was introduced in one of the DC video games, and he's going to lose it. He doesn't have it by the end. He's really an anti-hero. Like, here's a scene where he's flying through the town, and he shoots the lightning, and it's just tearing stuff up, and I can't tell if he's fighting somebody or trying to save somebody. We get to see a little backstory of, I guess, from other trailers we've heard that his son dies. 
And then he gets his power, and this looks like him being stabbed and then shoved into the hole, which must be where, why and how he gets his powers. The scene with the Jets, which is very reminiscent of Iron Man, where he just they come up and tell him to land, and he just smashes one of them. Is our first... Oh, yeah, see, look, he just appears. That's our first shot of Pierce Brosnan carrying the Dr. Fate helmet. And there he is in his full Dr. Fate suit. I think this is the other girl who's the character. Yeah, see, she's like... Got the wind blowing and is shooting the poles down at, at Black Adam. And then this scene looks like Dr. Fate has split. Kind of, He did kind of the Doctor Strange thing where he split into multiple hymns. And I don't know if he's making that car fly toward them or if somebody else threw the car and he's shocking it, trying to destroy it to keep from you know smashing him and smashing the Doctor Fates. Or maybe these are fake Doctor Fates who are just there to hold him while the car comes and smashes him. I don't know. We'll have to see. And there he is having some kind of vision with the helmet. And he, when he comes out of it, he looks a little shocked and surprised. And then, yeah, the scene of him standing here in the street, everything's demolished. And we get the part where this world needed a hero, but it got me. That's, that's a great line. And it really goes toward the Black Adam, They're making him look more like an anti-hero. And I know in the past, he's just been a straight out villain to Shazam and to Superman. And then, yep, this fight with Hawkman where he comes in and that club hit should have, like, would have leveled anybody else. But he catches it and then zap, he goes flying back and then the logo and then October 21st. Yeah, I hope it's going to be as good as it looks. Uh, it seems like The Rock, much like uh, Tom Cruise, really, when he latches on to a movie, to a project, he really puts, like, one million percent into it to get it to be the way he wants and he really loves this character i mean he's been years trying to get this movie made so i'm hoping it's going to be good uh, but it looks like it is october 21st can't wait to see it and as always if you like what you see please click subscribe uh, the easiest way is the little red square that's right down here in the corner also take a second to click that bell icon so you continue to get notifications of any time i release a new video also, if you like what you see, please click like. Likes are super important to the algorithm. It helps get our videos out there so more people see them, so our channels grow. So yeah, please click like. And also, I'm learning now the comments are super important. So even if you just say hi, even if you just say it looks good, even if you just say, uh, I'm not going to see this movie, anything about this movie, any comments you want to make, put that in the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And until next time, this has been Nerd Dad 5000 I will see you later. Bye.